Hi, I'm Kara Schuler. I'm the developmental editor for Silver Grain Classics magazine. Um, our friends at Jobo recently brought out a whole bunch of new sets of developing chemicals, and today I get to test out the E6 six bath chemical set. So um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to that. Obviously, I need to have some film de to develop first, so I'm going to go out and uh, make some pictures. I have a beautiful camera to do that with. It's the Hasselblad 1000F from 1956. Um, we're using this camera because it just came back from a CLA, so we know all the shutter times are okay. Um, the only thing that could go wrong would be user error because it's be my first time shooting with this camera, so that's also pretty exciting. Um, I've got some Kodak uh, slide film, appropriately, Ektachrome, and um, I'm really looking forward to it, so I'm just going to get going. So we're back at the Silver Grain Studio and Lab, and uh, yeah, it was a little nippy outside, so I'm glad to be back inside here, and I'm excited to develop my film. But of course, before we start anything, we have to kind of get together all the stuff we'll need. Um, I'll be using an automatic processor today, but um, if you don't happen to have one of those like we do at our lab, you would obviously need a thermometer and uh, a timer. Um, because this is a six bath process, you will need six uh, plastic containers and also six beakers. And they should all be very clearly labeled because you definitely don't want to be accidentally mixing some rest of chemicals from the last time you did anything. So the next thing to do is to decide how much am I actually going to mix up because um, you this kit will make two and a half liters of uh, developer and you can make about 40 films with that. Now, I only have one film, so um, I'm not gonna mix up everything all at once, um, particularly the first developer. It only has um, a shelf life of about a week after it's been diluted, so I don't wanna dilute any more than I need. Um, I'm gonna be making 500 milliliters today for my one film, and uh, this is probably a good time to mention that um, you should always practice proper safety precautions when you're working with any chemicals, but also photochemicals. That's why I have on my very fashionable glasses and my gloves and all that kind of thing. Um, keep all the chemicals out of reach of children, all those kind of basic precautions that you should also take.
So I said I had an automatic processor, but I didn't say what. And uh, this is our BB, the Jobo ATL3. Um, when it was new, it cost as much as a Volkswagen Golf. Um, <laughs> we're really happy to have it here at our lab. It was really made for professional labs and stuff, so um, it's a lot of fun to play with. Like I said, you can definitely do these, this processing by hand, it's not a problem, but I like playing with the toys. So um, yeah, you can see here, I've already got six baths all lined up. Everything's heated up to temperature, and uh, this is a cool setup here. Oh, yes, I should mention that this has, it's accurate up to one-tenth of one degree, so that's pretty cool. Um, this is a really easy system to use. Jobo drum fits right on here. Just clip it on, and then you can use the cool buttons. Oops, sorry, wrong one. There we go, and lower it into the bath. I don't know why. I really like doing this. So now I have my results back. Um, you just saw the scans there and I'm really happy with the, the way the whole kit worked and the results that we got. Um, but before I start going into that too much, I just wanted to say, um, I mentioned at the beginning that this was my first time shooting with the Hasselblad 1000F. And um, it was a little bit of a learning curve because uh, I'm used to my Minolta AutoCord. I have to admit that um, I found that a little bit easier, but uh, I really also enjoyed the process with the Hasselblad and I'm looking forward to going out with it again at some point and uh, getting a little bit more familiar with it, a little bit more comfortable because um, I really also enjoyed it um, even though I found it a little bit challenging and <laughs> I did have some of the aforementioned user error but I still got some really nice shots out and um, so I was happy to see them scanned. Um, so yeah, about the kit. Well, I think the results really um, speak for themselves. Uh, Jobo is a, a brand that is known for very high quality products. And this kit definitely doesn't disappoint. Um, it had some very high quality results. It worked exactly as we would expect. And um, yeah, I did use it with the automatic processor and it is optimized for rotation, but you can also use it for inversion. So um, it's definitely a good choice for a whole bunch of users. In addition to photographers who have an automatic processor or those who do it by hand, there's also the question of cinematographers. And um, the cool thing about cinematography these days is that there's also Ektachrome and small gauge that's readily available. And some people are really hand processing their own Super 8 and 16 millimeter films. And if you're shooting Ektachrome on small gauge, then this is a great kit for you because it's enough for a Lomo tank. And um, so it's also very valuable for today's market. So no matter if you're shooting still photos or you know motion picture, one thing we saw when I was mixing everything, you need to have a lot of containers to use a six path kit. And um, so you should definitely make sure that you have all of that equipment before you start anything. Um, there is 
a big debate that goes on about is the three bath kit fine? Do you really need to use a six bath kit? But I don't actually think that's a very productive discussion, okay? Um, I think there's going to be proponents of each method and they're both, everybody's gonna have their own reasons. Um, I think that a six bath kit is definitely tried and true. And I'm glad that Jobo brought this, you know, out to us so that we can use it. It's something, it's like a very standard fallback. And um, it really, okay, it does take a little bit more time to use, but you can be very secure that you're gonna get great results. Um, the only thing I would say would be, Jobo, maybe you could bring out the individual components separately for purchase. Because as we mentioned, uh, the first bath um, does actually have kind of a short shelf life once it's been diluted. And there might be somebody who maybe mixed up a little bit too much of this and not enough of the other thing, and then one part of it goes off. And it would be a shame if somebody has to buy uh, an entire new kit because they let one component actually get a little bit too old to use. It would also be re environmentally responsible to make that available to people as an option. We all know infrastructure can be a problem sometimes. Um, color negative film is sometimes in short supply. So you think, oh, I'm gonna go out and shoot some slide film. And then we've heard at least around here that some labs don't even develop slide film. So um, this is a great kit and I hope it's gonna encourage some more people to not only shoot some more slide film, but to go ahead and develop them, it themselves. Um, but honestly, from my point of view, why would you even need a reason to shoot more slide film? Because it's, it's such a, a beautiful medium, really. If you scan it, you have your original right there next to you. So if your scan looks not exactly as you expected, you can compare it to the original and it's really easy to correct then, um, which is not always the case with color negative film. You can get some really wonky results sometimes. Um, but in addition to the help with scanning, you just have that beautiful original right there to look at. I mean, with medium format or large format, that's especially true. You can almost just frame them. Um, but even with 35 millimeter slide film, it's just a joy to look at the film itself. And so I'm really glad that Jobo has brought out this product to kind of support people who, who value slide film like I do. One of the other good things about this kit is that although it's professional quality, it's in a size that can also be used by non-professionals. So um, we will be using it here in our professional lab um, and we'll also be reporting about that on our blog, which is silvergrainclassics.com. So if you're interested to see how we come along with this product a little bit, using it over time, then check back on our blog. If you use it at home and would like to tell us how, what your experience was like, feel free to contact us. The email address is info at silvergrainclassics.com. And uh, we will be putting up on the next screen exactly where you can purchase this kit if we have convinced you that it's worth a try.